Good All morning. right. Good morning. <laughs> we haven't done this in a little while, huh? We haven't. We're enjoying Cheers. coffee. Anyways, we got a break. Back. Check this out. We're doing uh, we're doing our live mastermind here in Northern San Diego, and uh, it's our last uh, kind of last leaving day. So we wanted to come in here and just share some things from our heart that has uh, transformed our life. But more importantly, what would we do different that would help us be much better at our faith, our family, our health, and our business. And man, I was just, had a big aha moment here at this retreat. Mm, so good. By the way, you look beautiful. Thank you so much. You and, look handsome. Oh, thank you very much. I like the little mountain. You do? You like the mountain? Planet there? Like. All right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, by the way, if you're, uh, if you're just popping on the replay right now, or you're on live, do me a favor. We'd love to know who popped on. Uh, this is on our personal page, so it's a lot of friends and family. And please comment below. And if we've never met you, just say hi. And what part of the world are you uh, are you in? Okay. Yeah. So you ready to dive in? Yeah, let's do it. By the way, we're in a beautiful. Did you say where we are? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. San Diego, but I mean, an incredible little piece of heaven. Yeah. Overlooking the mountains and the and Lake Hodges. Lake and Lake Hodges. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, why don't you start mm. off then? Okay, so <laughs> we, uh, you know, if there's one thing that we would do, one thing that we, if we could do to help you guys, you know, after raising four kids, after making an incredible amount of money in our 20s and, and our 30s, but going broke more times than we yes. want to talk to you about, after having the epitome of amazing physical health, but losing it, like, being, you know, in our 40s now, feeling like we went through some, well, at least I did, and you too, you've had some health things. What would we do different right now? Mm. And then, look, look, if you're on your, if you're in your 20s right now, you better not go off this. <laughs> this could change your life. I wish I could hear this message when I was 20. Because I was so stubborn. But what I, what I would do is I wouldn't treat raising kids mm -hmm. like I'm going to figure it out sooner or later. So good. I wouldn't treat understanding what's the best way to sleep, the best way to take which supplements are really the best for my body type, what's the best protein source, the amount, what's the best way for health. I wouldn't have winged it. Yes. I wouldn't have just, I, and by the way, we're It's, it's okay to be persistent, but when you don't, when, when they don't listen to your authority, when they don't, when they don't say, okay, daddy, or yes, sir, or, or, or okay, daddy, when they don't learn to agree on that first time you tell them not right now, <laughs> it's gotta be, if I can go back, this may sound harsh, but I would have quick discipline, quick yeah. timeout, quick discipline instead of them instead of teaching my kids when they were little that they can ask me again and again and an hour later I'm trying to work I'm trying to do something else that's important for our future and our family and our life but all I'm hearing and I'm not spending quality time with my babies they're just Danny can I have this Danny why can't I go across the street mommy told me I can go across the street well why can't I was I told you I told you not now right and when they're teens why can't I go to the party why can't I go to this with this friend there and it, yeah, and it's like not now or no, here's why and that's it It's 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 and again. I like persistence. I like that they're persistent, but there's a time where you're 
not now, or your no is that's it. Your no, is, so your no is your no, and your yes is your yes, and there's no room for discussion. Basically. There's no room. I mean, there's there's a little room sometimes if they say, Dad, can I ask one question? And but if I do this, this, and this, then can I go? So you got to learn to. Be, they can learn. We're teaching them how to be creative, but. Man, we thought we were doing a great job, but now that they're teens and there's four of them and they're four girls, it's like when four of them are coming at you, if you have multiples, even two, yeah, you get this times four per day or times two per day. Woo. And if you're in marketing or sales and you've got a really good, I mean, they're watching you and listening to you. So we have some real persistent ones. Yeah. I'm sure you do too. Kids are persistent. But yeah, so okay. that, that's an Someone example. Else. So what would we what would we do? Yeah. We would if you're not growing your diet. What I mean by that is I would learn from uh, James Dobson on how to raise kids and how to raise strong-willed kids. We're reading it now, but I knew about that book 15, yeah. 20 years ago. I remember picking up that book years ago, and I'm like, I'll read it later. I'm for, you know 20 years later. I wish I would have dove into it before I had kids. I wish I would have dove into Robert Kiyosaki and learning from Danny Johnson and absorbing how to become debt free and financially independent and not have a poverty mindset. We'd be wealthy. We would be wealthy. I wish, I, I pray that we could have just dove into the Bible instead of just, I'll just go to church and just listen. I wish I would have understood Solomon and Ecclesiastes of the most wise man in the world, one of the wealthiest man in the history of our existence. I wish I would have understood what that high, one of the most wise people in the entire world that was so ever good. physically here. So good. So the word, there's one word that, that oh, actually two, but God gave us the word priorities when we were first married. But mm. the word I'm thinking of now, later in life, is intentional. To be intentional about yeah. not just hearing, but then be super intentional about actually doing it. Yeah. That word's been... Don't just get good at kids. Don't just get good at finances. Don't just get good at your health, your temple, or your business. Learn how to be the best that you were called to be. You were born for a purpose. And there's no question the priorities, at least for us, and we believe for everybody, is God first, mm -hmm. spouse second, kids next, family, friends, then health because without health, who cares how much money you make? Tr trust me. And then, of course, learning how to be freaking amazing at business and stop fighting it. So good. And by the way, thank you, Paul Lewis, if you ever watched this, Ooh. the founder of Family University. I don't think I've ever given that man credit. I was so honored and blessed. God, uh, God used him to give us the word priorities. Yep. He was like, your calling is priorities. I'm like, huh? Yep, in your 20s. You had an office behind yeah, or something? Yeah, and that's so ironic, right? through that canyon right there in Rancho wow, Bernardo. Wow, wow. Oh, so crazy. So, any other things? Because I have something. No, go, no, you go. Well, no, no, it, it's kind of like that last. Oh, you you, you, you wrap it up, beautiful. I don't uh, want to listen. Is there anything though, else? Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, basically, wrapping up, summarizing, be intentional or yep. focus on all the areas that matter to you, your priorities. And not just hone in on one area, but but really be intentional about all the areas of your life. Um, and then the the big whopper that really hit us. I mean, we've heard it and we've known it, but it, it, it was like a, a wow moment for us was to do everything with an eternal perspective. Oh, because we're on this earth for how long? Yeah, like that. Like you don't think about it in your 20s, trust me, 30s. We didn't. We we think we're immortal on this earth, eternal on so this earth, and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got gray hair. What do you what, what What do you mean? I've got this little bit of health thing going on. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? I'm freaking Tom Challen. I'm an athlete. No, I'm getting old. I'm gonna be dead in probably 50 years or hopefully 60 years or something like that, or maybe sooner. Eternal perspective, mm -hmm. meaning we're here this much on earth, and it's. Eternal is this times unlimited. It's just crazy to think about. Yep. So be but be focusing on that, not what you're doing here on earth only. Yep. Because that puts purpose in your, your day. Big purpose. Um, huge purpose. So good. And everybody you meet, there's a purpose there. Your children, your own life. So good, baby. So good. Okay, well, 
Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, the sun's coming up. Time. Let's give them a, let's give them the view here. If there's By the way, who's on here? Welcome. Wow. Hey, Heather. Heather's on. Wow. Terry. Jeff Perkowski. What up? Dave Schwartz is in the house. Look at this view. Right through that candy was my first network marketing office in Rancho Bernardo. And it's beautiful. What up, Scott? Awesome. Look at this view. So again, for those of you who just popped on, we're at our live mastermind event. And uh, great. Thank you so much, Michael. What's up, brother? From Dallas. Who else is on here? Who else is on here? Uh, I don't know if it's available yet, but TomandKimChallenge.com. We're going to be doing a lot of fun, priority, purpose-driven type stuff at TomandKimChallenge.com. And again, I don't even know if we... I think we put up something there years ago, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to evolve. So whenever you're watching this, pop over to Tom and Kim Challenge. Uh, soon and make sure you subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or you're live right now or you're on Facebook please please uh, please pop on and uh, subscribe or like this would you do me that as a big favorato we love you guys God bless yeah. you hang on, hang on. Oh. let me end with a awesome beautiful thumbnail of you